Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to episode six of Weeaboo Weekly. We are hosts, Geezer HD, and I'm, I'm Geezer HD. That's Photocon. I'm Geezer HD. I'm confused for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're live every Friday night on Twitch at 8 p.m. Eastern time and on YouTube on Sundays. Uh, yeah, I'm not even reading the thing. So there you go. Uh, Pre-show starts at 7.45. Uh, we just finished that up. Basically, the pre-show tonight was us mumbling and making noises and me complaining i'm tired yep so there you go uh yeah oh boy this week we are going to be talking about figure collecting uh my favorite yeah you found your favorite anime uh and now it's time for you to start collecting all the merch uh she's gonna go over all the details of what you have to do and look for and all that stuff so there you go uh I'm so tired, Jack. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but first, as always, we're going to talk about what's going on in the world of Van Maze. And I don't even I don't even know why I ask. You got anything? No. Oh, okay. As someone who's supposed to keep up with it, I don't, so sorry. I should have just had you read these articles. And, You're right. And, and, and done this. Anyway. Uh, <sighs> so awkward. Uh, there's a <laughs> manga. What? Nothing. I'm what? Not, nothing. <sighs> I'm tired. I don't want to read this. <laughs> um, oh boy. Uh, there is a manga themed hotel opening up in Japan. Have you heard about this? Um, Other than reading it in the, in the, in the no, documents? I haven't. Um, the modern pod style hotel comes complete with a plethora of manga. I, I guess there's like five thousand different titles in the in the in the in the whole hotel thing. Um it's located in the Jinbo Cho district of Tokyo. Uh it boasts a collection of manga in Japanese as well as English. Oh, okay. Um I'm thinking most of it's in Japanese though. Probably. It is what it is. Cannot read. Um why not? <laughs> Uh, there are two floors with a total of 35 rooms, one floor being reserved for men and one for women. Sorry, we can't go. I'm poor. Yeah. Uh, the manga art, manga art hotel is taking reservations now. So you, there you go. You can, you can go in and, and read their nearly 5,000 mangas. Mangos. I mean, I saw some pictures online about it. It just looks like a damn pod hotel <laughs> with with some books. It's like what is it? it it's basically it seems like a like a hotel with like a mini library. Uh, I don't. Yeah. What do you do? Just take them out and take them back to your pod? Yeah, I don't know. That'd be sick. They though. didn't. They didn't say. I mean, that that's like all the information we had. So. Oh rip. Well, maybe there was other information. I I did find a, a website that had more information. I also just re realized. Guess what I forgot to do? What? Oh my god! You forgot to set the timer again! Oh my god! We're never gonna get this right. <laughs> What's this weird shit? Oh Jesus! You're never gonna uh, get it right. Uh. Anyway. I was taking half the blame, but you can have all of it. It's fine. Listen. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Trash. You know what? Fuck it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I, I we'll just, we'll just look at the, we'll look at the fucking clock. It's yeah, fine. It's I mean, well. So eight ten. Okay. Eight ten. We have to. We have to. Yeah. It is what it is. Anyway. <laughs> I knew you were forgetting something. Oh, I'm forgetting myself. I'm, I'm super tired. So. Good morning. Yeah, we uh, uh I walked in his door and he was like asleep and I was like, oh, and the lights were out. I had, I literally had the alarm set for six seven fifteen too. No, six fifteen. And that didn't work. Nope. So me opening the door did. Uh tying into tonight's topic, uh thirty nine year old man in in some place in Japan. Ibar Ibaraki. Yeah, Ibaraki. Uh, Japan has been arrested for allegedly customizing and selling an author unauthorized anime figure. How about that? Um, but I see stuff like that over here all the time. Like people will take figures, um, like older ones, 
and they'll customize them with uh, polyresin clay and stuff like that to make them look fancier. Allegedly, the man took the head of a of Love Life character Nico Yazawa and yeah. stuck it on the body of Darjeeling figure, a Darjeeling figure from Girls und Panzer Darjeeling. Oh, so he just ripped the heads off. Head off. Uh, apparently, this violates the copyright licensing of official figures in Japan. I guess they, they take that a little more seriously because of the animes. Uh, the figure was sold during an online auction for 3,000 yen or about $27 in the fall and was discovered during a cyber patrol. I literally wrote whatever that is. <laughs> uh, reportedly, please discover nearly 1,000 figures from the man's house. And are investigating his income of around seventy-seven thousand dollars. Wish I could make that much. Yeah. So selling some rip-off figures. Dude admitted to selling the figure, saying that he needed the money. I'll never sell my babies. I would rather. I think die. you will someday. No, I won't. I think someday you'll go. You know, this takes up too much fucking space. No, you're wrong. Also, no swearing. It says so right here. This takes up. Way we might too as well much just write these space. sticky notes down. Listen. Listen, um, whatever. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Not on my side. You can keep yours. All right. Yeah. Like I'm paying attention to it. Now that we're caught up with that, here's the problem. Homework for last week was to watch Zombie Land Saga's episode one and two. Uh, hey, did you watch it? We watched it at your house like last weekend. We didn't. We, we started with episode three. Yeah, but I remember one and two. She okay, got hit by a van. <laughs> Okay, that was like the beginning of episode one. And then she was a zombie. Okay, so we're now five minutes into episode one. And then she woke up. There's ten minutes. And then they're gonna uh, what? Revitalize (laughs) Saga by being zombies. Kotaro is going to bring back Saga. Nah. (laughs) Nice bud. So, uh, yeah, I. I mean, I like I I think Zombie Land Saga is freaking hilarious. That's why I like it so much because it's there's so much funny stuff in it. I but, like Momoro Miyano, so it helps. Yeah. So you like Kataro too? Yep. Okay. Nice bird. Nice bird. So yeah, there there's that. Uh, let's do this. Let's just we started a little late, so I guess we can go to break now. Um. But I need to do this. And we're actually going to start the timer this time. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do things and stuff. So, there you go. Um, I totally recommend zo- watching Zombie Land Saga, by the way. If you haven't checked it out. Check it out! You straight went through that in like a day? Oh, yeah. We went, we, we, well, it was actually technically an evening and then the, the next day. Okay. We 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 uh we binge watched it in the pretty dang quick. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, it's only twelve episodes, twenty three minutes each. Yeah. So it's less than six hours. So there you go. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. After the break, we're going to be taking uh talking uh, uh talking the ins and outs of figure figure collecting. Jesus, I'm. We gonna talk about today. anime figures. Yay! We're gonna talk about figure collecting. So and then we're gonna have to see some. Figures I brought. Scary. I brought some, and it was very complicated to cram these babies in my car safely. And the yaoi stuff. I only we'll, have we'll two yaoi ones. <laughs> only two. We'll be back in a minute. That's the wrong scene. through a dark hall and I open up this door and there were all these men playing poker poker they had no time for me their eyes were all looking down at their numbers and I said stick them up get them up all the way up stick them up this is a stick up I said the mics are live. 
<laughs> Welcome back. I forgot to change. Uh, wait, did I? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I got the right page up. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for my entire trashy, 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 trashy hosting today. He I'm straight woke so, up like I'm, what, an hour ago? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't sleep last night, so I mean, it's been trash the last couple weeks. <clears throat> And now I'm, I'm like boy. half awake. Uh, but whatever. Today we are talking about anime figure collecting and what you should look for and what you should avoid. Uh, the differences. Wow, that's a horrible sentence I wrote. The differences with the different figures and how to get and how not to get screwed over. Uh, you're going to tell us that, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is all you because I got, I got nothing on this Okay, one. so... so... It's uh, how many figures do you have again? Uh, I have over a hundred. That includes uh, scaled figures, trading figures, posable figures, um, chibi figures, etc. So did I touch um, your Rasato? No, you can't have him. He's my baby. Um, I didn't want him. I, just I actually started him. figure collecting when I was in high school. Um, so last week. So this was before I had a job. So essentially, I just saved up any, any money, money my parents gave me for doing, for doing crap around the house. house. Um, um, and, and, you know, I would always, always look at all this stuff, stuff and I could never have it because they were super expensive. expensive. Um, um, but what I would do is I would kind of like roll around in the bargain bins and see if, and see if I could find anything that I really want. Because um, I had, this is close to around the time that we actually got not dial up at my house. So I had been binging anime forever. Um, Wasn't that just like a couple months ago? Shut up. Um, but I... I was, I was on, on Hobby, Hobby Lane Japan's, Japan's website one day, one day, and I found a figure of Natsume from Natsume Yujincho for $50 in the bargain bin, um, and it was originally about $90. So, you know, I had about that money at the time, and I was like, Mom, please let me uh, make an account and let me buy this figure. And, of course, my parents were like, that sounds dumb. You don't need no more toys. You're, like, 15. And I was like, I need it. So, as you can see, I do have my Natsume. This is the first figure I ever bought. Um, um oh, there's a camera there, there now. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, first, um, first figure I ever bought for about 50 bucks in a bargain bin. Are you, you stripping him? Huh? Huh? Are you, Are you stripping him? No. His no. Yukata just comes off. But, um, it went, it went downhill pretty, pretty fast, fast after that. Um, um I now have over 100 figures, and I have, I constantly, I constantly have figures on pre-order, and my collection grows every day. Um, yeah, there's Nyanko Sensei. So, um... I do, I do have, have, they did, they did recently do a renewal do. version of this one where they basically just took the same pose and everything and made it look nicer. So I do have that version also. I did not bring it though. The grass doesn't look real. It's fine. But I do have the renewal version of this one. It's the exact same figure, but they made it look better, like in the face and stuff. Okay. Um, the I art's better? Yeah. I don't have that one out of the box. So like I didn't series feel like. Series 3 JoJo versus Series 4 JoJo? Shut up. But I didn't feel like digging that one out, um, so I left that one at home, but I did bring some of my other ones to show as well. Um, but what I want to talk about um, right now is kind of where you can get started uh -huh. and like what websites you can use that are safe and reliable. eBay? Um, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get there. We're going to get to eBay because eBay is the biggest hit or miss you'll ever find. Stop. Um, so my, <laughs> my favorite site to use for buying um, figures and any type of other merchandise. I've bought clothes here. I've bought um, like keychains, bags, uh, smaller figures, any, like anything I have bought. I can't, like, I can't even begin to describe the amount of junk that I've bought from here because it's keychain. I have a whole bag full of crap like at my feet, but I can't. Uh, I'm not going to pull that out right now. Not yet, but <clears throat> um, AmiAmi has everything. It's AMIAMI.com. Um, it's in English. They accept PayPal. They also accept card. Cardu? Yeah. <laughs> um, they PayPal? also they um, also have a secondhand section. So if you're looking for something that's been sold out for a while, I would suggest checking out their secondhand section because they might have it. So you could sell your figures? I'm not going to sell them. Thanks. Listen, it's um, an investment. At some point, you have to cash out. And AmiAmi usually has the best prices. They do like a smaller discount. 
like from the manufacturer's like recommended price or whatever. Um, but also they do have sales um, now and again where you can get a figure cheaper on their website any than anywhere else. Um, and their their website's very organized and it's easy to find stuff. But I use AmiAmi Ami for everything. I have every month since I've been like 18, I've had an AmiAmi Ami pre-order every month. I have spent thousands of dollars on this website. <laughs> lots, lots of money. Yeah, saying saying that. So I, we had this conversation on Twitter earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, you as a role model, bad idea. It's fine. You as a guide to do this, it's fine. Yeah. But uh, she, she don't should, go downhill. Don't, it's don't, a slippery slope, guys. Don't be the. Don't be. Don't be Shota. Yep, it's the slipperiest slope ever. So once you start buying, it's really hard to stop, especially now that you have such easy access to figures and anime merchandise, and you don't have to go to like. Maybe you should make it more of a challenge and not do anything online. Just do it over the phone. No. And Um, do it via, like, mail auctions. No. I've done auctions before, and doing auctions on Japanese websites is a nightmare. Um, One yen. Well, that'd be cheap. No. Um, But my second website is hlj.com, and it's Hobby Link Japan. Um, Their website has amazing sales sometimes, so I always you know, try to check it out at least once a week. I don't use it as much as I use AmiAmi. Ami. I use AmiAmi Ami for almost everything. Um, How many times are you on that one? Hmm? How many times are, on, are you on AmiAmi Ami a day? At least once a day. Okay. Yeah. Um, HLJ is actually where I got my Natsume. Um, they have good bargain bin stuff. They also, it's probably also one of the best places for mech kits and like model kits. So like Gundam kits and like model cars and stuff. Um, they have a lot of stuff like that, and it's cheap. So you have Voltron. I don't know. I don't look for that. Why not? Because. Um. I thought you were into Voltron. No. Uh, my third website that I want to talk about is Mandarake.co.jp. Um, it does. You can. They have a global server, so it's in English. Um, it is really good for secondhand stuff. I got. I've gotten lots of Masato stuff that's been sold out. And I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I'll check Mandarake. And I've found some really, you know, stuff that I've been wanting, but I couldn't have. Or, you know, stuff that's uh, Japan only. So what people will do is they'll buy it and then they'll sell it on Mandarake. And they do auctions. Um, I found some old and sold out stuff on there. You can sell Edward on Mandarake. I'm not selling Edward. Um Basketball boy? But yeah, the only thing is, it, you can search in English on Mandarake, but you're not going to get as much um, stuff. You won't get as many results if you don't search it in the Japanese tag. But you can always find like the names of characters on the Wikipedia. They'll have it in Japanese like on the side. So it's really not that bad. Um, a- and their website's really good. I like it. And you can get some dirt cheap stuff on there. You got a Japanese keyboard? No. Oh, damn. Uh, what does a Japanese keyboard look like anyway? I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to research this later. Yeah, but that's probably I do check that website a lot. Um 9 times out of 10 it's for Masato stuff, so I'm not going to lie. Uh but Is it really? Yeah, they sell I distinctly remember seeing figures that brand new cost like 90 bucks and like a couple years later it'll have shelf damage. So like the corners of the box are scuffed up or something, so they'll sell it for like 50 or 40 dollars. So if there's a figure that you want and you haven't been able to find anywhere, number one and number two, or it might be too pricey. So I would check Mandarake and see if, 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 they, if they, have they have it. it because, because you'll usually find, find a pretty good deal, deal on it. If they, if they yeah. do have it. Um, uh, I've, I've never seen anything that's outlandishly expensive on there, which is the good news. But, the but the you can also find everything. It's not just like a figure website. But they do have figures. They also sell a lot of Jojins if you're into that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. well, well bought a couple dozens, I'm not going to lie about it, but it's okay. What that? What that? What? What, what that? Um, Jojins are fan-made fan- romance. Oh, yaoi. Yeah, well, yeah, the Jojins are hammer yaoi, so we're not going to talk about it. But they're fan-made, fan-made manga. So, the third website, um, I really advocate for this one, because if I did not have this website, I would have bought the same crap. Over and over again. Also, I think if you don't have, if you didn't have an account on this website, I think they'd close down because like 
you have too many no, things on you this. should see it's crazy because you can go look at all the users and you can sort users out by their like points or whatever and you get points by not only contributing to the website but like what stuff you have is it is the points directly related to their an insanity level no uh, well i mean i don't know but some people you have some people have hundreds and hundreds of figures like i've seen people that have like eight nine hundred figures and i'm like what do you do for like <laughs> because they're expensive um but this is myfigurecollection.net they have everything and it's all user-based so anything um that you see all the new entries um people find pictures online and upload them and stuff they um it's probably the best website that and i also do check this one every day because every time a new figure is announced it's immediately up on myfigurecollection.net and, and you want to see if you might have gotten a new figure that you weren't aware of yeah, so especially um, Winter One Fest just came around. It was in February, and what Winter One Fest is, is they usually announce a whole bunch of new figures, or they'll show, like, painted versions of, like, prototypes that they've made. Uh, so especially when stuff like that comes around, they'll upload, people upload pictures that were taken, or they'll, uh, they'll add that item to the website. So you can see the figures that are coming out. They'll usually put, like, a, if they announce a date, it's crazy because you click on a figure, you go to the main page, you can scroll down, it says figures. Um, it's sorted, you can sort it by newest, popularity, oldest, et cetera, stuff like that. And when you click on it, it'll go down, it'll show the character, the scale, when it's supposed to come out, if they know, and everything like that. But um, I, <laughs> I have to use this website because I order so much usually at one time that I've ordered the same thing again because I forgot that I ordered it. And you told me you yes. don't do that. I do do that sometimes by accident. I don't do it on purpose. So this website, what you it's can like do buttons. is if you make an account, you can upload your collection, a.k.a. you can go to that item, click on it, and add it to your collection, your online collection that you have. And so anytime that I'm ordering like a batch of stuff, I'll always go <laughs> make sure that I haven't already ordered it <laughs> because I have ordered the same thing multiple times and it's i mean i'll keep it and i'm not gonna like be like hey uh can you take this off my order but it's just like oh man i shouldn't order this you know that's money i wasted because i already have it so so i could go to this website start an account mm -hmm. and just start adding stuff to my collection it'd be a fake not, collection and not actually have any of it yeah but they also what you could do is you can add stuff to your wish list so i could put i could put on like 45 winry characters figures yeah so you yeah. have you have figures that you've owned, figures on your wish list, and um, figures that you've ordered. So there's like three different sections that you can have. I just have them all. Okay. Um, I have a bigger co collection of just Winry than, than you have of Masato. Wrong, actually. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, according and to that also, website, this website, I could. I could. You yeah, this know. website has forums, so you can discuss, you know, stuff. They also have ads, which... Um, I have ad blocker. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you can, um, you can buy, sell and trade or whatever on this website too. And I have bought from users on here. Um, and it's really good. Everybody goes through PayPal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so any, it's also good because stuff that's sold out people, you know, every now and then want to make more room for newer figure figures. So they'll sell some of their older stuff. And that's good for me because stuff that I didn't order or forgot to order, you know, couple months later i'm like crap i wanted this and so i'll go check their ads and somebody might be selling it so then i can get it and they're usually not going to charge an outlandish price like some of these like figure websites like i don't know i don't anything that's not on this list i usually don't use okay so they usually serve fair prices they'll take pictures of their actual figure instead of just saying hey this is a figure i have they'll upload pictures to show you what kind of condition it's in and they're usually, like, nine times out of ten, they're going to be honest if there's box damage. They'll usually say if they live in a pet-friendly or a pet-free home, a smoke-free home, stuff like that. So you, don't, you do know where your figure is coming from, and you can always message them and ask them for pictures or, you know, the condition the figure's in. So you know if a cat's peed on it or not? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Um, but out of all these websites, this is probably my number one website. Not only, it has everything. It also has a list of like verified websites that they people have used 
to buy figures and other merchandise from. So it's basically like a big collection of a bunch of nerds going in and say, hey, uh, this stuff's good. Thanks. Any Winry characters? Yeah, you can probably find some if you go look. I haven't ever looked for Winry. I've looked for Edward before. Because I don't care about What's Winry. I don't I have like two Winry girl best, figures. Winry best Winry best mechanic. Well, I mean, yeah, probably, but I uh You told me you had no girl figures. Did you lie to me? I'm not bring I didn't want to bring them, so I didn't say anything. It just started monsooning outside and it was loud. <laughs> Did you hear that? I heard Holy it. crap. I heard I it. didn't bring my umbrella inside. Rip boo. Gosh darn it. It's already stopped. It's yeah. fine. Continue. Yep. Um, another website is yahoo.jp. So Yahoo Japan. Yeah. Wait, Yahoo what? Japan. Ex- yeah. They do a lot of auctions. So like Yahoo Japan auctions are great if you want large batches of merchandise. So what you can do is you can search for lots of a character. Um, I have bought. I have done. I, <laughs> I, I can have, hear the rain through my microphone. I know it's really loud. <laughs> um, but I have bought lots from Yahoo Japan. But I... I can't use Yahoo Japan on my own. I have to use a shopping service, but I'll use stuff like um, From Japan is a good shopping service to use or Zen Market. Um, they usually don't charge too much for like a buying fee. But Yahoo Japan, really great for auctions. So if you're looking for something and you want to fight for it, go ahead. Um, they also sell, a lot of people usually get big lots of stuff and they'll sell it all at once for like... Um, in an auction and i've won a couple of those and i get a lot of stuff for what would have been a lot of money but i get it for a pretty reasonable price for the amount of stuff that i'm getting you get a lot of stuff period yes you're right um the last website i want to talk about i don't want to talk about all of the individual figure companies websites because i'll just talk about that when i'll go when i talk about the figure companies um but the last website that's not like a specific figure company website is goods republic um I have only used them a few times, but the few times that I have used them, I've gotten stuff that I could not find anywhere else. Nowhere. Not even on like Yahoo Japan auctions or any other secondhand website. I could find it on Goods Republic. And what Goods Republic has that I think is neat is that you can request items. So if they don't have it, you can say, hey, I'm looking for this, and they'll actually go look for it out in Japan. So, like, for example, if you wanted a, um, a, uh, um, love life character with a, the head moved to. No, but they, they could probably <laughs> find the individual figure so you can screw with it yourself. But, um, I've found, um, some really cool items. I actually got my, um, this bag from them. Which part of the bag? The inside the bag, bag or part, the, the bag, bag part. The um, bag part. And I've gotten, I got a Masato stamp that I couldn't find anywhere else. I swear to God, it's a Masato stamp and it's so cute. It's a yeah, I remember head. seeing it all over Dean's hand. Yeah, and um, I also, I got a really big tapestry of one of my favorite Masato arts that I couldn't find anywhere. And it's insane because you can request it and they will find it. They are a little bit more pricey though. So they are a little bit more expensive, but if you're looking for something that you have to have, they can probably find it. But they do have free shipping, so that kind of helps with the um, the priciness. Because I mean, if you've ever bought stuff from Japan, it is expensive. If you I bought if stuff you want, from China, it might not be expensive from China, China but it takes like oh, ten yeah. years. Oh, it's expensive and it takes forever. Yeah. So I made the mistake of buying uh, a mod from China once. Oh boy! It took two months. And the shipping costs more than a mod. Yep. But I couldn't get it. I couldn't get that particular mod anywhere on from the U.S. So yeah. So like anytime when I buy from AmiAmi or anything, I do monthly pre-orders. I ordered coils, and it came from China once. That was really dumb. How long did that take? Uh, three weeks. Oh. Uh, glad. Good thing I wasn't out of coils. So, and you're eating your face. Yep. <laughs> but. Yeah, Goods Republic, pricey, but they can find hard-to-find items for you, and they do have free shipping if you're willing to pay a little bit extra up front. Um, but that's pretty much all the websites that I want to talk about besides, like, the specific figure websites. Wait, so you pay a little bit extra for free shipping? Well, what I'm saying is, like, their, their items are more pricey. They're usually oh, okay. sold-out stuff, 
or their stuff that's hard to find. They do have good deals if you're willing to look for it because their website has a lot of stuff. A lot. Okay. Um, Are they like Amazon for anime? Pretty much. They do have a sister website um, where you can buy doujins too if you're interested. Uh, they usually have pretty good prices on those. Like them we fan made. We haven't done the. Uh, we fist. haven't done the. Uh, the anime lexicon wordy episode yet. We should fan made manga. We should probably fan-made do that. Comics. We should probably do that next week. Okay, it's set. Topic for next week. Okay. Anime terms and words. Yeah. Um. So that so... we can actually understand what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. But um, the next kind of thing that I want to talk about are figure companies that I think are good and, like, different types of figures that they make and stuff. Okay. Um, so the first company is probably one of the most popular companies or companies that people have heard of. Um, it's Good Smile Company. Um, I usually just say GSC. Um, it was founded in 2001. They do everything. They do scaled figures. They do posable figures. They do ninderoids. And a lot of other figure companies do partner with them. Ninjaroids? Yeah, Ninjaroids. I have one. I brought one with me. Um, they're chibi figures. So this is Kojaku, Kojaku from, from Dramatical Murder, Murder which is a yaoi game, game, so don't at me. Uh, um, yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, this is Kojaku. It's a Ninjaroid. They come with lots of different stuff, so they'll come with extra faces. Um, they'll come with extra hands, little props, and stuff like that. And they're super cute. Um, they're not large. They're usually about this big. Uh, I guess that's like five inches tall. Um, but yeah, okay. they're super cute chibi figures and they're like the not doo-doo versions of Funko Pops and they're posable. So you can, they're very dynamic this for being so small. This one is dead. What? It's suffocating. It's in a bag. Shut up. I don't open all of them. I don't have the room right now. Um, but yeah, this is Kojaku. There's lots and lots of these. Um, if it's a character that's even moderately popular, I guarantee they're probably going to have an Enderoid. If they're going to be sold out or not. Different question. Um, I do have a few of these open on display, but I just don't have room for Kojaku right now. So sorry, Kojaku. I love you. I have fun Pops. Yeah, it says the kind of like slogan for these is cute to look at, fun to play with, and great to collect Ninderoids. And you can get them at Good Smile. Good Smile's website sells them. Ami Ami what's, has a lot of them. What's it say too. right here? Um, Japanese words that I can't read. Thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's a little dusty right now because uh, I was... Uh, in a hurry yesterday trying to grab some to bring um, and get them in my car before it rained. It'll be fine. So yeah, um, I also have another one that is pretty much, I bought this off the Good Smiles website and this is my big boy. This is the biggest boy. Big boy. So I I'm going to have to move the microphone for I a just want the hand. Now, um, this is Ren. He's also from Dramatical Murder. He's the dog. Ren? He's he, the, this is the dog. The dog? Yes. Listen, um, if you haven't seen... Like Bow Wow Dog. <laughs> yeah, he is a dog. But uh, in the virtual reality world that they do uh, called Rhyme, he is a people. He's a people. He's but a he's... people. He's a dog. But this is Rin. I have too many figures on this thing right now. I am scared to pick him up because he's only supported by his foot. But he, but is, he a is a big boy. boy. This is a big boy. Oh, um, as big as you. This is a very expensive boy, so that's why I'm holding him like this. But I got this off of Good Smile's website. His coat is remo removable. I will not. Yeah, I will not take this off right now. It's too hard for that Yeah, it's cast off, which means that pieces of the figure can actually be removed or added. Um, but this is a uh, Max Factory figure. But Max Factory and Good Smile usually work together a lot for stuff like this. So. Very, very big, big, very expensive boy. boy. Um, um, I, paid I paid about 200 bucks for this boy. No, he's, no, he's not a boy. Oh, yeah, he's a boy. He's a dog. You want to talk about it? Because I've seen some, I've he's seen parts, dog. I've seen parts of this boy that you'll never see. His red <laughs> rocket? But, yeah, you can take his, he's, um. She's looking up his skirt. No, well, I'm saying you can take off his, uh, coat. His head's interchangeable, too. I'm not going to do that. His, you have to take his head off to get his coat off, and I'm not going to do that. Um. Your head's interchangeable, isn't it? But yeah, the the big cloak thing comes off. He's basically just shirtless under it. You can't see because I have the stand on, but um, I actually have two different versions of this figure. One of them was sold on Ami Ami, and it was the good end figure, where he's the stand isn't as fancy. It's not as elaborate, but it's a beach scene. His, his boots and off. he just doesn't have the cloak on, so that's why 
Um, it's different. Does his boots come off? No. Um, I'm going to very carefully set him back down because it gives me anxiety to just hold this thing. My baby. It's as big as you. Yeah, he's a very big boy. Um, but yeah, I got that one from Good Smile. Um, you can buy from their website. They do have an English website that you can buy from. Um, you can pre-order stuff. I missed a pre-order for Alba, and I'm really sad about it because I forgot about it. You'll um, be fine. But yeah, um, they also have like a side thing called Orange Rouge. Um, so that's a partnership with Good Smile Company and Max Factory. The thing about this one is, the thing about Orange Rouge is, they focus only on male figures. So like what they're really, what I know them for really is for all the token Rambu online figures. All them sword boys. You don't know what I'm talking about, but it's okay. No. We haven't got, had that episode yet. Remember? No, Token Rambu is an online game, and all the boys are personifications of famous Japanese swords. And they have been personified to fight the retrograde army that is trying to change history of Japan. So, yeah, okay. very difficult. Um, but, yeah, another figure company I want to talk about is Koto Bukia, and they were founded in 1947. Um, they do lots of scaled figures. And I do have some from them. I didn't bring any. I just, I did not feel like, it was kind of raining last night. I didn't feel like cramming them in my car and getting them wet. So, um, another one is Max Factory. The Rin that I just showed you was from Max Factory. And his box is like this big. Otherwise, I'd show you. It would take up like half the screen. It's over there. Very big. Oh, the big box? <laughs> yeah. Um, you um, also they did said you weren't taking them out. And then you took them out. Well, I've opened this one before. Right. But if if it was a box that I'd never open, I would be kind of partial to opening it. But um, Max Factory does, uh, or Max Factory is the next one. Max Factory also did the Rin that I had was holding up. Um, it was in it was founded in 1987. They do Figmas, which are like posable figures and PVC Figmas? statues. Um, Rin is a PVC statue, so statues are not mov movable. You can't pose them or anything. Um, uh, the next one is Alter. Their Natsume that I have is done by Alter. So my Natsume. little Natsume boy that I have here, he was done by Alter. He has no shoes. Um, Altair is like spelled like A-L-T-A-I-R. Um, they usually do the dude figures, but Alter does, you know, that's the brand. Dude figures. Dudes. But yeah, um, I have um, a lot of Alter figures, actually. Uh, I think like one third of my figures are Alter figures. Um, Alter did all of the Uta prefigures, so of course I have all those. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> yeah. There's, um, they're only in business because of you? No. Okay, but, sure? um, I do want to talk about, uh, Medicom. They do the Real Action Hero ser series line. Um, and these are po very posable, very dynamic figures. This is my Edward that I have. Um, you can take all his clothes off. Let's do that. Uh, he has, I did not bring his box, but he has lots of interchangeable parts, so you can change his hands. Um, you, you didn't bring his sword hand, though. No, I didn't. Um, he even came with a tiny pocket watch that opens. Did he come with Winry? Um, no. But yeah, um, he even, all the clothes for these Real Action Heroes series, they're like actual cloth, so it looks really nice. Um, I did Are have his him. pants really leather? Uh, it's probably, probably pleather, pleather, but I did have him nicely posed in my display stand, stand before I crammed him like this and brought him over here. But and you, and you don't have an Alphonse? No, the Alphonse one is like this tall. I would not. I don't know what to do with it. Put it, Put it behind Edward. Edward. No, no, but um, I mean, they, I mean, they, they are. are really cool. they, these are pretty pricey, which is the downside. But they look great, and if you want something that you can pose and make look um, pretty cool in like a display stand, I do recommend these. Um, I did. I do want the Evangelion ones, but they are expensive. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna skip on that. But I'm gonna sit him back down on the corner of this desk right here. It's um, a, it's a Edward on a shelf. Yeah, Mega House. Oh, he dead. He fell over. Um, Mega House uh does a lot of good figures. They actually do most of the Naruto, um, figures that you see are done by Mega House. Um, G E M is what they call like their male figure series. So Mega House G E M. They were founded in 1962. Um, they do scaled figures and P uh, PVC statues. So anytime you see like a Naruto figure, uh, nine times out of ten, it was probably done by Mega House. Um, Freeing is another one I want to mention real quick. It was founded in 2006. They do PCV statues, but they're mostly known, at least in my case, for swimsuit. These are girls. These are girl figures. So for you. They Winry? do swimsuits. Uh, they do a lot of bunny suit figures. But now what they're doing recently, they started doing bunny boys. So I have two of those on pre-order. I have 
Um, I have Shiro Tani and Kurose from Ten Count on pre-order, and they are in. These are boys in bunny suits, and I am ready to get these boys. Yeah. Okay. But I did want to mention that one real quick. So if you're into like swimsuit figures or figures Rascal that generally de- look, Rascal definitely does not dream of bunny boy. I dream Senpai. of bunny boy Senpai. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, good small company Max Factory and Medicom work together a lot, so um, they usually do a lot of collab projects and stuff like that. Okay. But yeah, um, how much time we got left? I mean, you can see the timer. Okay. Um, real quick, what I want to talk about lastly, um, when you first get started in figure collecting, it's really hard, especially if you go to conventions. Um, if you go to anime conventions and you're trying to look to buy stuff there, one of the worst things, and I hate it, every single one of these stupid places sell counterfeit figures. And if you don't, if you've never bought figures before and you don't know the difference, They'll get you. Because I got got when I first started, and it sucks. So you um, still got the fake figures? I do. I should have brought them. Um, because the difference between... You can honestly tell if you look at them They're like from got someone... They're flashing from, the, from the, um, the molding and everything. But... That was a question. Like, what would... Do they have, like, flashing where the molding... From the molding? Or, or like, where the molds came together? Or... Uh, it's usually just like that. Shit. They just look way cheaper. But the thing is, especially if you're just starting out, they usually sell them cheaper than what the normal price would be. So a lot of people are drawn to the cheaper prices, um, especially kids who just want to start um, collecting stuff. Yeah, I got, I got got, and I was like maybe 16, 17. So, I mean. So last year. No. Um, I'm sorry. I keep kicking your cord. It's fine. Um, but. But especially at anime conventions, the most notable way, because they're getting to the point where they can copy them pretty good. Because a long time ago, if you looked at a counterfeit and then a normal one, like a legit one, you they could tell the difference China. was astounding. Yeah. Um, but now, if you want to look at, uh, it's kind of getting harder to find. Well, but I tell you. I mean, even like counterfeit electronics, mm-hmm. a lot of the, the thing now in China... China, as we know, is the copy copying capital of the world, right? Yep. Like, that's where if you want something copied, that's where it's going to be made. Well, that's also where the legitimate stuff comes from a lot of times. And a lot of times, what we see with in the electronics world is that the same factories that are making the legitimate stuff are just making the unauthorized copies. So they're using the same molds and the same equipment. They're just making them cheaper. So they're not as high quality, but it's still the same equipment they're using to make the stuff. Yeah. They're just using ho- not as good materials. Um, the thing with like anime figures, you can definitely, if you get them side by side, you're going to tell immediately that they're fake. Um, so um, my biggest thing is they're shiny. <laughs> I don't know why. All the counterfeit figures that I've ever seen look so shiny. Like the shiny, shiny bones. Yeah, like I didn't get to show Kuroko, but I do have Kuroko here. If you look at him close up, he is not shiny. Basketball boy. Um, they're very matte. Like, like with, with the paint jobs, jobs and everything, they're not, they're not shiny. shiny. Their faces are, aren't like, like shiny. shiny. With, with counterfeit, counterfeit figures, shine if you shine a line on them, these things freaking glow. And I don't, and I don't know. I think Jackpot. I keep dropping things down here. Um. um but yeah, but yeah uh, uh, they're, they're really, really shiny, shiny. And, also and also you can see seam lines, seam lines pretty, bad. pretty bad. But yeah, but yeah he's not, he's not shiny. shiny. He's, he's pretty, pretty matte. matte. He's a little bit dusty. So <laughs> 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 he's he's like, I had him on display because um, I love Kuroko. I have a giant Kuroko sticker on my car. Side note, but um, also the cheap. I think it's because they're super shiny because the material is a lot cheaper. <laughs> um, and usually, if you look at their faces really close, the painting on their eyes. Usually doesn't look that good. I've seen some that look a little bit off. Um, but it's really hard to tell for someone who just started collecting. Unless you're really looking at it. Putting it on backwards. Wow, you broke it. No, I was trying to put his foot in the wrong hole. Um, so, my biggest thing is, if you too. want to buy figures online, don't go to Amazon or eBay. Like, just don't. I have bought figures from Amazon that were legit, I mean, not Amazon, from eBay that were legit. 
but the difference is the price tag and that's how you can tell and you can also see if it's coming where it's coming from so if it's coming from the u.s or japan or like europe it's nine times out of ten going to be legit because it's people trying to get rid of their stuff but if it comes from china you really have to look at it because well almost everything that comes from china if if you're buying it from ebay is yeah. probably not legitimate um i've got stuff that was legitimate you just have to really look at it and for ebay the biggest thing is the price if you are buying a figure that's a scaled figure like something like this or like the rin that i was showing and it's under 50 dollars it or is 100 percent fake or win 100 percent um same for amazon so if it's cheap it's fake and i hate to say it if it's cheap it's fake that's how it is um one other thing real quick my figure collection that website i was talking about earlier mm -hmm. they have counterfeit tags so if you go on their website and you're looking for a specific figure go on my figure collection type in the character's name and find that figure and if you scroll down and there's a red counterfeit beside like the images they'll show images of counterfeits that they found online or ones that people have gotten so you can see the difference firsthand um the difference between a legit figure and a counterfeit one so I, that's another thing about my figure collection that I like because I do have a counterfeit tag. That's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. And I would suggest definitely looking it up, especially for figures for big, big name shows. So like Naruto, um, basically anything like that. I know they have they have fake uh, dramatical murder ones and fake Kuroko ones and stuff. So you'll just have to go take a look at it. Okay. I need Winry figures. Um, yeah. <laughs> Here's my bag I didn't get to show yet. I knocked Edward over again. Wow. Wow. Uh, all right. I We went over time. Crap. Sorry. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, after that, we're going to talk about the homework for the night and wrap it up. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right. See you in a minute. Oh, oh that's the wrong camera. Hey, hey look. Shut up. Uh, hey, hey, I'm trying to set, set it back up. Trying to figure out which button I gotta push. Hmm. Welcome back. Uh, I have no script written for this part, part, so I guess we'll just wing it, maybe. Oh yeah, we gonna wing it. Uh, <laughs> this is the part of the show where we talk about the uh, the, uh, the, the 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 homework for next week, and uh, we get to we get to explain what we're doing. Um, homework for next week. Um, the homework for next week, um, I put down Mob Psycho 100 episodes one and two. Okay. Um, Mob Psycho is actually in its second season. It's airing right now. Um, and I have enjoyed every second of it that I've watched. Like the last uh, couple episodes that I've watched were, were super funny. And I really, it has a really good mix of action and comedy. And I really appreciate that and stuff. Um, now, because uh, some of the other stuff that I'm watching this season is pretty dark. So it's nice to have something super lighthearted right now. Um, while also have really having really good action scenes. Okay. Um, so Mob Psycho uh, 100. Uh, pretty much the story is there is a boy, they call him Mob. Um, and he is a pretty much a psychic. He can see spirits um, and he can sense spiritual energy. Um, and so it goes through him and he meets a self-proclaimed psychic psychic named reagan and he pretty much uses him so he's like oh we got to go exercise this ghost today you're gonna come with me it'll be good for your training so it's pretty much him like messing with him he he's definitely i can't tell if reagan has powers or not you don't know this questionable in the season I'm still two watching it yeah um <sighs> but yeah it's there's lots of funny parts there's also sad parts because mob's really quiet um he kind of gets picked on and stuff and it's called, I think it's called Mob Psycho 100 pretty much because his emotions, he usually keeps them suppressed. But when his emotions hit like 100%, he usually blows up and there's like a super cool fight that, that follows. Over 9,000? Over 100. 9,000? <laughs> no. Um, but I really do suggest it. Um, it reminds me a lot of any type of shonen uh, anime so okay, we haven't had that episode yet lots of action lots of comedy it's really good um the art style is different but it really fits with the show mobs just like all the time you know like straight face it looks old 
It's not. It's actually pretty new. Why is there Elvis in episode 11? It's not. He just has a pompadour. He was another oh, yes, psychic. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, you can find this one on Crunchyroll. They have the first series. Um, it's episodes 1 through 12 in the first season. And then the second season is up to episode 8, I think. I don't remember. What is Mob Psycho 100 it, Regent? Re- um, that was Rain? an OVA. So it was just like an extra episode that they usually put out after like a season's over. Or something. We haven't had that episode. What is an OVA? Um, original video animation. Oh. Um, so it's usually like a little extra. Um, they do. Apparently they have it in like German and Spanish and stuff, but uh, I watched it in Japanese. Uh, I like the voice actors. We could funny. watch it in por- Portuguese. No. <laughs> um, but it is good. I would suggest giving We're it a Russian. try. So for the homework, please watch episodes one and two and let us know what you think about it. Um, either like in chat or the comment section next week or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we still have a minute. We have to talk about this. Oh, okay. Sorry, <laughs> I'm looking over this way. Maybe, um, maybe we should shorten this section. Yeah, I mean, it only takes a couple seconds to talk about the homework, but I mean, it's good. So should we expand segment two by a minute? This will make... There's yeah, it's my neighborhood. There's cars that go by and that was like a little. That sounded like a moped. Then no, I'm pretty sure that was just a car that had no muffler on it oh. because well, that's the neighborhood I live in. I live in the best neighborhood in the world. You you wouldn't know just looking. My neighbors are that's cows. <sighs> Moo. Yep. So there you go. Uh, Here's me showing off my bag. You have an issue. Yep. I'm wearing my official Masato t-shirt and my official Masato hoodie and my official Masato eat a bag with all my official buttons. And we had the discussion, had the, had the discussion about showing your Masato underwear. I don't have Masato underwear. Liar. I have Masato tights. My, well, that's kind of underwear. My beautiful baby boy. Kind of beautiful baby boy. This is actually filled with Masato stuff. Also. You know he's not real, right? I don't care. He's real in my heart. Oh, and I even brought a little baby Masato this time. The Chibi? Chibi. This is a Nindoroid Petite. This is a trading figure. So they usually come in like boxes of five or six. Little baby Masato. Oh, I almost dropped him. <laughs> wow. Oh, he scared me. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Well. My child. We, we, uh, we, have, we have officially made it known that Shota has issues. <laughs> But there you I go. Sh- I can start pulling stuff out of this bag. You want to see issues? No. You want to see issues? No. All right, that does it, folks. Another episode of Weeaboo Weekly is a wrap. Uh, if you're watching live on Twitch, uh, we'll be continuing the after show in a few minutes after we, so we can talk about what we talked about tonight or whatever you guys all want to, want to talk about. If you're watching on YouTube, let us know in the comments section below if you have any questions or comments about figure collecting or Amine. A- Amine? Amine. Wow, I just did my sister. Amine. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Anime. <laughs> Anime merchandise in general. Uh, we'll do our best to answer any questions you might have. Uh, you can ask questions, and then I'll go, I don't know, and then I'll send her a text, and she'll ignore me, and then tell me her phone didn't work, and um, didn't notify her, and it's it's a likely story. Uh, make sure you're following on Twitch, and like and subscribe on YouTube for more episodes of Weeaboo Weekly. Uh, if there is something that you want, would like Shota and I to cover on the show, you could submit show requests through the Discord, uh, which in on YouTube will be listed in the uh, comments section on Twitch. Just do exclamation point Discord in the chat and you'll get that information. Uh, so there you go. As always, thank you guys for watching and uh, hanging out. Have a great week and we'll see you next Friday with another episode of Weeaboo Weekly. Have a good one, guys. Later.